What's going on guys? Kit Bash here. Bring you another video continuing the how to make not how to but continuing the making custom action figures uh tutorial videos you could say. Um pretty much walking through all the parts and stuff I use and stuff I've came across in my time customizing. Um this video is going to be strictly about paints cuz I get this question all the time like what paints do I use and you know where do I get them and and why is my why when I painted my figure is it sticky? Why didn't the paint settle and stuff like that? So I'm gonna just go over the paints I use, starting with the the two that I started with and the the ones I'm using now. I'm gonna go over the type of paints with like acrylic, enamel, and lacquer, and I'm gonna tell you why your paints don't stick to your figures if you have that problem. First off, I want to start by saying I I've had people tell me this a lot that they've used this paint. This is not. This is acrylic paint, but it's not formulated for plastics. This is more for papers and and like uh, paper, and wood and stuff like that. And this is more craft, like for arts and crafts, not like uh, plastics and figures and stuff. So avoid this at all costs, unless you're doing dios, uh, dioramas. This is not good paint for plastics, for action figures. Some people use it and some people have success with it. But for the most part, this paint won't stick to you. It'll stick to the figure, but it'll, it'll just come right off. So... Avoid Apple Barrel unless you're doing dials and stuff like that. So now that that's out the way because I totally forgot to add that in. Um, the two paints, I'm going to start with the two I started with. The first paint I started with, which was Vallejo or Vallejo, however you want to say it. This paint is, it's okay. I don't like it because just like Apple Barrel, it doesn't stick to the figures. It it doesn't stick to the figures like Model Masters does. Um, this stuff rubs off. It scratches off pretty easy. Uh, it, it's just not my cup of tea. I know some guys love it. Some dudes swear by it. Some people use, there's two different ones. There's Model Color and then there's, um, what is it? Model Color and then Model Air is the second one. And uh, Model Air, I think it's a little bit more expensive. I think, I could be wrong. But that one's formulated for airbrushes, but you can still paint it on. Um, you have to seal that. If you use Model Color or Model Air, you have to seal it. You have to sand your figure and, and pretty much prime it and then seal it and then it'll be good to go. But still, even with all of that, this is not my paint. I only have so many because I think I have like eight of them because when I was first painting, this was the one I was buying because I didn't even know anything about this. I was buying these first and then I didn't like the way they were painting and then someone told me about these. So you get from Hobby Lobby. They're $4.99. Uh, they're solid. They're all right. Not It's not my bag, but you might like it. It's just preference, really. And then... Model Masters is my go-to paint. Uh, sadly, they are discontinuing Model Masters brand. I think I got some sticky tack on this lid. They're discontinuing this brand, so I don't know what's going to happen. Um, I've recently changed and started getting different types of paints. Um, I started getting Tamiya and Citadel. We'll talk about those in a minute, though. But those are the paints that I started going to, Tamiya and Citadel, just to see like you know, what my, my uh, backup plan is going to be with paint. But I do have enough Model Masters to last me a minute. This paint right here is amazing. It doesn't need, it doesn't really need to be sealed. You can really, it, it really adheres to plastic. Um, I, for example, I painted, you can't even see the figure. I didn't know I was that low. I painted this figure, entire figure from the, from the pants on up to the shirt with, with the Model Masters flat black. And this, as you can see, it's not like, I mean, I'm not going to sit here and scratch it, but it's on there. It really, it, this paint really bonds to plastic really well. It it's really well. Um, I can't sing its praises enough because it's really great paint. This is flat black. I have gloss black. I have, what is that? Six, 12, 18. I have about 30, probably 20 to 30 jars of this stuff, uh, different paints just cause I like it so much. Now, the only downside to model masters for me is it doesn't, uh, cover certain paints like silvers and golds. They don't cover in one pass. You have to do, depending on the paint or depending on the base, you have to do probably five or six coats just to get a nice shine to it. I can't even think of what I painted recently with this stuff. I can't even think of what I painted recently with gold or silver because um, it just takes so many coats to cover. And it's the same thing with the whites and the yellows and stuff like that. They don't cover uh, enough area as you're painting. Like if you did, if I dip my brush in, wipe off the excess with the black, it'll cover. But if I do red, yellow, orange, pretty much anything with, with more pigment than black or, or however it goes, it takes a while to cover. So that's the only downside to this paint. But the upside is 
is it um, bonds to plastic really well. It like extremely well. Like I don't know if you guys saw my monster venom. I'm excuse me, my venom pool uh, video, but I painted this figure with Model Masters Guard Red, and I didn't seal it or anything, and it has a nice sheen to it. And it's it's on this figure. Like it's, I painted the nails with this too. Painted the nails with gloss black, and this this paint is on there. It's not coming off. Um, it won't rub off or anything. It, you would really have to try to wipe wipe it off, is what I'm saying. But Model Masters is the go-to if you can find it. I highly suggest you buy it. This one doesn't have a price. That was online. Let me try to find one with a price. I have this gold. <clears throat> Model Masters usually sells for around three ninety nine if you can find it. Damn, I spill this. Or is that old? No, that's old. What the heck? But yeah, three ninety nine is the price. Um, if like I said, if you can find it, because they're discontinuing this line. Uh, I get get mine from Hobby Lobby, but some hobby shops should have it. Um, I know in my area there's Hobby Town. That's where I get. I was starting to get most of my paints from now. Um, but yeah, you can get them Hobby Lobby. I don't think Michael sells it. I know Michael's doesn't. Michael sells the wash, which is Create Effects wash. Let me grab that really quick. Talk about that. I love this wash too. Yeah, there is everything falling. Give me one second. I'm gonna cut away and cut back to that because that's terrible. Alright, so this is the model mask. This is the excuse me, testers create effects acrylic wash. This is a black wash. They have other colors like red, uh, maple. Uh, blue, I want to say tan. They have a bunch of different ones, but this wash is really great. It's an acrylic wash, so it bonds to the plastic. It dries really well, wipes off really well. Um, and the one, the one thing I love about this too is there's enough pigment in here to make two bottles. So you could buy one, you could buy one of these and get double the amount of wash out of here because this stuff's really thick. This stuff is really thick, and you can water it down a lot and make another bottle. That's what I love about it. So you can pretty much get two for the price of one. This stuff is really great. It's really, it's really awesome. Um, really awesome. Get this, this, they, they sell this at Michael's, but not Hobby Lobby. It was kind of weird. They sell this at Hobby Lobby, but not Michael's. Hobby Lobby, not Michael's. Michael's, not Hobby Lobby. I don't know why Hobby Lobby doesn't sell this, but it kind of sucks because this is fire. This, I think this sells for like $5.99, I want to say. So six bucks for a bottle. But like I said, you get two for the price of one because you can mix that with you can put this in another container and mix it with water. Take half. I, what I do, I take half this bottle. I, I mix it up first because you see all that pigment at the bottom. So I take once I mix it up, I take I pour literally pour half this bottle into another container and I put the rest of water and you got two washes for the price of one right there. It's really good stuff. But now I want to talk about uh, now that I talked about these. These are both acrylic paints, by the way. These are both acrylics. They just they have different um, consistencies and stuff like that. And always water down your paints. I forgot. I should have said that in the beginning. But I always water down, especially Model Masters, because you could do this with water. So I take, what I do is, when I open these, I usually put probably 10 drops of water, maybe a little more. You want this, the consistency of milk. It's just, it helps with your layers, because sometimes when you paint, you want to paint in layers. Sometimes you don't have to, but most times you want to paint in layers. You do a thin layer first, and you do just, I do several thin layers. But... Uh, water down this paint. Uh, some of these other paints don't really take water. I think these take water pretty well. Pretty well, excuse me. But I'm not sure. Because like I said, I don't really use this paint that much. I don't use Vallejo that much. But you can water this down. And I'm going to talk about Tamiya really quick. Tamiya and Mr. Color. So Tamiya is a paint that I just started using a few weeks ago. It It's really great paint. But it's, uh, it's not water-based. I believe it's alcohol-based. So, when it comes to Tamiya, you can use, um, what am I saying? It's not water-based, alcohol-based. When it comes to Tamiya, uh, it's, it's really, to me, it's really great paint. It covers really well. Unlike Model Masters, the silver and the golds cover really, really good in one pass. You, you have to do multiple coats, of course, but it covers really well. The uh, downside to this is it, it has um fumes is like has a smell to it uh model masters these two don't have a smell like at all the the tamiya does tamiya is like i said it's alcohol based and you're gonna need a thinner to thin it down because you want these paints to be to me it's really thick it's really thick uh paint 
So you want to get the, uh, I have the to me a thinner, but I'm pretty sure you could just use any acrylic thinner and thin out the paint. Same with Model Masters and Vallejo. You want them to be like the consistency of milk. Just helps with your layers and it helps not, it helps you not glob the paint on when you're painting. And you can use this to clean the brushes too because you can't clean to me a paint in water. You have to clean them with thinner. But like I said, this paint's really good for uh, everything. Really, it covers in one pass. If you get it down right, you can you can really paint over something in one pass, which is which is the upside I like versus Model Masters because this stuff is good paint, but it doesn't cover in one pass. You got to do multiple passes. This is in the way. I don't know why that was sticking up. And then you have like, for example, too. These are all acrylics. And then this is I want to say this is lacquer. Is this a lacquer paint? Let me see. Yeah, this is lacquer paint. So for for a lacquer paint, you would need metal or harder plastics. Example, this transformer, if you can see, let me raise this camera up really quick. I'm way messed up. All right. So for lacquer paints, painting on this transformer is no problem because this is harder plastic. Most transformers are hard plastic. They're not. I'm kicking the camera. For example, painting lacquer paints on this transformer, it could work because this transformer is mainly hard plastic. Um, lacquers and, uh, and enamel paints don't they don't paint on action figures at all. They're not good on action figures. It's something to do with the uh, the liquid, the liquids, the bases they use for the paints. They just don't sit on this softer plastic is good. They won't, it won't dry ever. Like no matter what you do, I've even sealed, uh, when I first started painting, I've uh, painted an entire figure with enamel and I sealed it and the paint just rubbed off. So avoid enamels and lacquers unless you're doing like Gundams and harder plastics. But if you're doing action figures, you're not going to want to use enamels and acrylics. You're going to want, I mean, enamels and lacquers, you're going to want to use acrylics, but if you're painting harder figures, which is like I said, Gundams or um, Transformers, you can use lacquers and and acrylic. And uh, why am I getting tongue tied? You can use lacquers and enamels for these harder plastics. That's if you're having a problem when you paint your figures and the paint's not drying, it's most likely you have the wrong paint. For Model Masters, the bottles are the same, but when you buy acrylic, the label this stripe right here would be blue. I mean, yeah, it'd be blue. When you buy enamels, that stripe is red. So if you're buying this paint and this stripe is red, it's enamel, and that's why it won't dry on your figure. Same thing with this. This is lacquer paint. And um, from what I read about lacquer paint, lacquer is the strongest paint, and then you have enamel, which is the middle paint, and then acrylic is the weakest paint. Um, but it bonds better to plastics. Lacquer, enamels and lacquers don't bond to plastics at all unless it's hard plastic or metal. This is good for soft plastics. Lacquer is good for hard plastics. Same with enamel. I don't have any enamel paints to show because I don't buy them. I only have this lacquer paint because uh, it 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 shows up really well on Gundam kits. It's gold and it, it really covers. And like you take this paint and you hit one stroke on a brush and it's there. It's good. So I was painting and doing some detail work with Gundams. That's why I have this. And then uh, Citadel. The transitions are weird, but Citadel, I'm new to Citadel. I just started using it. Um, I had it before. Uh, one of my homies gave me, he he was buying them. I guess his hobby shop had game, what is it, Games Workshop there? And um, he bought me Blood for the Blood God. This stuff is scary because it's like, it looks just like blood. It looks like, you probably can't see in there, but... It looks like blood, and it's fucking... When you get on a brush, it's like, it looks weird. But yeah, this stuff is all right. I painted one thing with it so far. I used this right here, I'm trying to paint a Mando helmet. Um, It's all right. It's still sticky to the touch, so I'm assuming I have to seal it. But it doesn't rub off, which is good. Um, I bought this gold so I could paint Goldar. We'll see how that goes, though. Because if the paint's going to be sticky, I don't want to paint a whole figure like that. But this, I'm really new to this paint. I don't know anything about Citadel. I have to do my research. But it, it it's really good paint. Uh, I know some dudes who swear by this. They only use Citadel. It's like some dudes only use Vallejo. Some dudes only use Model Masters. Some dudes only use Tamiya. Um, I'm in the position because, like I said, uh, Model Masters is going 
they're retired. What are they doing? Discontinuing the name or whatever. Something they're doing. So I'm transitioning paints. That's why I have Tamiya. Um, but yeah, this paint, I'm really new to this paint. It So far, it's working out. It's pretty good. Uh, I don't have any issues with it. Besides it being sticky. I don't even know if I have that head on to pull out. That ain't it. That ain't it. Is that it? No, here it is right here. Hey, this is the this is this paint right here. This is called Lead Belcher, and it's it, it's solid. It painted pretty good. I think this is one coat too. It painted pretty good. Let me get this on here so y'all can see that. Ooh. Yeah, it paints it up pretty good. It looked uh looks really good. It's just still it's sticky. I don't know why it's still sticky. I don't know if it's because this is a three D print. I don't know if it's because um, the plastic is different because when I painted, when I painted the, I painted the entire figure with this and it was solid. It wasn't sticky or anything. And I do this for blood splatter. And when I do blood on figures, I use this and it's, it's not sticky. So I don't know. I don't know if it's this type of paint. I don't know if it's this particular paint. I don't know. We'll see. But so far, um, I like it. I like the way it covers and everything. So, so yeah, um, I don't really know too much about this. I don't know what the base or anything is. I really like these paints, though. These are the paints that I'm using currently. Let me move these out the way. Move that out the way. These are the paints I'm using currently. Um, I really like Tamiya. I'm starting to like Tamiya a lot more than uh, Model Masters, if you could believe it, because it just covers better. But these are the paints that I use. These are acrylic paints I'm, I'm, I'm buying. Stay away from the cheap stuff. You're going to have to pay. If you want good paint, you're going to have to pay for it. There's no way around it. Um, you can use, they have another one called Mech Color. My coworker was telling me about, I haven't tried it, but I've seen it. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, you know, like, comment, subscribe, leave a comment down below. If you have any questions, like I said, don't use enamel on soft plastics or lacquer on soft plastics, acrylic only, and you have to pay for the paint. You can't get these paints for cheap. I mean, you can if you find them on sale, but you can't get them for like 50 cents, like the Apple Barrel stuff. Stay away from that shit. But yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think about this in the comments, and I'm out.